They look fun. Sounds like he's having mm -hmm. fun. You know, you probably heard that people can get depressed during the winter months, you know, seasonal affective disorder. Where there's not a lot of sun and, you know, you're inside a lot. Mm -hmm. It does happen. But now there's also something else, something new, maybe that you haven't thought about. People can also suffer from the blues when the sun's out all the time. And with us to talk about it is Dr. Brenda Reese Brennan from Intermountain Healthcare. Yeah, I always, I mean, I've heard of SAD. We've done lots of reports on SAD, seasonal affective disorder during right. the winter right. months. But... It is such a thing during the summer? Explain. It is such a thing. So about 4 to 6 percent of folks in the United States will have SADS, which is a seasonal affective disorder, and about 10 percent of those will actually have a reverse season, which is summertime. Do they have it both, winter and summer, or just either? It's you got very one possible to have both. No, I think it's possible to have both and be predisposed to both. Okay, so what, what are some of the symptoms of this? So the symptoms are similar to the SADS in the winter, which is you feel kind of down and not a lot of energy, and you also, your appetite gets a little messed up, and you just don't feel the same. Everybody's having fun and you're miserable. Mm -hmm. And so it's kind of an unnerving type of a situation, and then you can have anxiety. Uh, the most important thing is to recognize what it is, and if you do have at least a pre-existing anxiety or depression, you might be predisposed in the summertime to actually having a SADS episode and prepare for it. So the most important thing is to prepare for it, that it could happen, and to recognize it really quickly and get help. Well, how do you know if it's something that's being triggered, you know, by the environment, by the weather versus just, just being a little depressed? So in depressed. the summertime, the, sim the, the causes are biological, so some people have biological. Um, but the other things in the summer that happen are people have disrupted routines. And so if your routine gets disrupted and you're kind of off and you're home with kids or you're planning a vacation, that can be really stressful and overwhelming. And the other thing is the heat. The heat can be exhausting. It can make you want to like stay inside and not go out. So there are several things that you can do to be able to prepare for it and then manage it if it should be happening. Okay, you said that people can get help. So what kind of help helps? So I think the most important thing is to know that there is help and that treatment works, but also I think it'd be really good if we just prepared for down days any time of year. How do you do that? You just say, you know, sometimes life is great and sometimes life is not so great and how bad is it really? and be able to really uh, take a look at yourself, talk to people that are close to you, and really understand, is this something that's situational, or is this something that is really interfering with my function, with my ability to be close to the people that I love, with my ability to eat, my ability to sleep, with my ability to work, Mm -hmm. um, and then be able to go and get help. You know, for seasonal affective disorder in the winter, you can actually buy lights yep. that help you. Right. So what do you do in the summer? Do you need to go into a dark get room? Or you do? <laughs> well, you, it's not really the light. It's more the heat and the disruptive schedule. Mm -hmm. oh. So what you want to do is you want to plan mm -hmm. and, you know, not overwhelm yourself by too many activities. There's a lot of social activities in the in the summertime yeah, and maybe sure. there's some you want to do maybe there's some you don't want to do like going to a family reunion you want to be able to talk to maybe few people and not everyone mm -hmm. and be overwhelmed about it and then the other thing is to go when it's cool so exercise in the morning don't you know spend too much and that'll get your eating. endorphins yeah. going right. help the right. overall mood right. and sense of well-being right the other thing that um, I think happens in the summertime is people are much more conscious about their body image mm because you wear less clothes, you're more exposed, and with social media and everybody doing pictures and Instagrams, the pictures kind of go up, and those could also be overwhelming. So taking a break from screen time, unplugging, walking out in nature. Probably um, always a good idea. For that's, those things. that's all you You know what I've heard though, Brenda? If, Brenda, if, if you can't tone it, tan it. So just, <laughs> <laughs> that, maybe that can help, She's right? Like, great advice, <laughs> great. Dan. Well, remember, <laughs> so there's image. other risk factors I of just sun think in the, the summer. The body image issues. <laughs> body image is, uh, issues are, are huge. They yeah, are. I can imagine. Yeah. I can imagine. Thanks Laughter so much. Laughter helps, us. right? <laughs> You're welcome. Yes. Always does. Laughter helps. It does. It's always worked for me. <laughs> great. Thanks Thank so you. much. Thank you. You're Appreciate welcome. It.